Hello everyone, this is Aeris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Trom Tal 10 Let's Play. We continue for episode 15 from turn 63 in the winter season of 202. So if all goes well, we should have our sneak attack on the capital of the Kingdom of Wu set up sometime during this episode. The army in the south is getting ready. Now we know Swinslet's over here, but it's quite far from him to reach any of our lands. And if we need to set up an army to stop him, shouldn't be a big problem. He might sail down... Uh, through the Pearl River to attack Tongwu, that might be his closest path. We'll have other armies sort of getting ready to strike him as well. I believe we had all the armies move. Yeah, we fought the extra fight over there, which is why last episode lasted so long. They're not really moving because of supply issues. They're in a good position. They still need one more turn mustering. Alright, so all the existing armies have moved. Oh, she can pick up Mach. She's not an administrator yet, but uh, eventually, maybe. Alright, we could spend money on summoning another army. Let's see who deserves... To be summoned. We have a lot of spies coming back soon. Golshrin. Golshrin's probably going to be by himself because it's going to be Del Chan Lu Bu Zhang Liao most likely. Golshrin maybe can team up with Li Ru. And we can send him somewhere. Most likely we're going to need more manpower around here. So, maybe around in front would be a pretty flexible place. Let's raise a force. We have the deployment, so let's use it. The rule doesn't work well with him, but I don't think that's going to be a major concern at this point. Let's summon... Yuan Yao, and have him tag along the other Yuan brother army, and then they can have the bonus triggered in the same fight. Enforcer troop, these are Dong Zhuo's unit, I believe. Uh, they're decent archers, but I think we can do better on Gao Shun than archers. Ah, Xian Cheng, Xian Cheng Ying, Xian, I mean, should be Xian Zhen Ying. It's his camp breakers. That will keep. Unfortunately, does he have the recruitment on those? He does. Perfect. Okay. So let's grab a few more of these. And then there should be the guard version. Anything else? That's unique to him? No. Okay. So these are glaive. Let's do four of these and two of these. Hidden snakes. How did he get these units is the question. Yuan Shu's unit, perhaps? Guerrilla deployment. Stock. They're useful. We have enough of a front line where we don't need him to be running front line units. Let's get a couple grenades and a couple cavalry. Or do we just go no cavalry here? I don't want him to have tail units. Yeah, we'll have a couple cavalry. Alright, we'll let them rest up. The rest of the money we'll spend on commanderies. Let's make this a small regional. Uh, 
kind of want to hurry this up. This is perfect. Now we should be poor. Yeah, we can slap on one of these. Let's do it at a commandery we actually care about. We can confederate him, but he's better as a trade partner right now, and as a buffer. Alright, see how this goes. He sailed down. He's going home. We're getting sieged. Shiro. They're finally leaving Domin's faction. Dastri also left. I'm gonna grab him. We don't have that many champions. We should have a lot of our spies returning as well. Lu Bo's back. Zheng Lan. This is uh, Zhang Yan's wife. Not sure if we need her. Maybe we need her for a Simon character. Lu Ji's back. Or maybe father and daughter set up. First things first. Ooh. Well, lack of purpose is going down. Recent event. Oh, we have a lot of court event coming in, lowering everyone because they're carrying the discredit faction with them for a couple of turns. Yeah, that's going to be a small problem. Hmm. We'll worry about how to fix that a bit later. For Sun Qian, we can easily, let's say, make him lead. He should be happier in the lead position. Did we not max army? Uh, can't see the prestige points, but... Uh, that might be helpful. Get a spy. Fix his satisfaction. Undine, we want it somewhere else. Loyal. Loyal's good. Maybe. If they can take it down, might be worth it. All right, how are we gonna fix our own satisfaction? It's gonna be a little bit difficult. We could do court assignments. We're just gonna wait it out. That's another possibility, picking up some happiness points. Any that are close? Not quite. I'm 
going to grab that. We're going to fix our buildings. This, I'm going to fix myself. Mifeng actually could be an administrator somewhere. So he can be an easy fix that way. Xiangyang Guangling probably could use one. Oh, Luoyang could use one. Did I miss him? Is he on assignment? Oh, he is on assignment, isn't he? Okay. Uh, we have other people that's unhappy, like Don't Buy, who, despite the corruption problem, probably will be a good administrator with her passive traits and skill. There's another 10% from all stores coming. There are better choices. All right, if that's not going to solve it, we're going to just hand some titles away. The cheap ones. Oh, that's not good at all. Um, let's give him a big one. It's not desired for higher office. 24 points. It's 12 points plus authority. Honestly, these probably solve the problem better. I want to make Dombai administrator. Just not sure where. Profound doesn't have the income. I mean, Undine technically have a decent income potential. Already signed someone here. Jincheng, we don't have it yet. Changsha, we don't have it yet. Changsha would be decent. Guangning isn't bad. Let's slap her here for now. Alright, that solves our satisfaction issue for now. This is being siege, which I don't think they win. We do have to fight them. Right, low loot is also a thing. I could flip him. It would solve the siege. Oh, we can't. They're currently sieging. So I can't flip him now. I can poison the army. It's actually a really good one. The 
Army's gonna be in really bad shape. Let's take a look before we do it any farther. Yeah, they're pretty much dead. Now it's just, you know. Ooh, Administrator Shanda. I, I want him as a spy, I don't want him as a... General. I'm gonna release him. There we go. He's on cooldown right now, because he just got knocked out. So he can't take any actions. But next turn, we can potentially steal Shangdang, this entire piece. These two right here. It would be a very dangerous steal, but uh, might as well do it. Can't reach any settlements right away. Alright, we arrived in our position. They fled back. It's okay if they're going there. Wait a second. I see bomb slingers. Alright, should be an interesting army. Grenades, bombs, fire sticks. They have a special unit too, the Oath Fellows. Um Glass cannon, kind of fodder melee. We could run a few. Basically, we have a bunch of them to get more morale. Jump face should have that too. Yep. Kind of early game thing though. Zhang Fei. We're gonna go infantry heavy here. We don't have a lot of money. Ooh, we're out. Okay, no cash left. Do we potentially declare war against them? Since they picked the wrong side here. I think so. I think eventually... This will be a war that we have to fight. They will stabilize this area. They're ready in position for the war. They're chasing. We're ready. They're ready. They're not ready yet. Might need a few turns. Two to be exact. But no one's defending. They might come back. Not a big issue. So we cleared it. We can retake this. Yeah, poisoning is kind of insane. We're going to declare war against the looters. Probably next turn, because we can't reach them anyways. He has the extra movement. She had the extra capture. Flip that back. Oh, Emperor Gongsun Zan. Are you at war with the looters? He is not. What are you doing all the way over here? He's not at war with any factions in this area. Yet he left his capital. That was dumb. By him. 
All right, we summoned a rebel here with our faction council event. We'll see if that brings us anything. Are there any that are close? We can make this work if we really wanted to. Jungle is a maybe as well. Wait, if we can confederate Coral, that would be a big scoop. It will move us a lot closer to the kingdom of Yan. Let's see if we can convince him. So the main problem here is we look at the confederation value, the opinion of the idea can drop to negative 50. That would be 75 points. Flip. We don't have enough military to force it, so it's not possible right now. All right, we'll wait then. No big deal. Uh, we barely have any cash, but I think we can still do one of those little buildings. That's it. Ah! Okay. That's interesting how he bumped into us to declare war right away, even though he's kind of stranded in no man land. He has arrived back at home. Ah, uh, we have a huge looter stack. <laughs> We're going to lose the Han territory. Now what we can do here, before we lose it, let's pick Zhang Liao. Oh, they... They took it already. Wow. Two stacks. No jokes. This is the stack we summon? How come they get these and we get these? Huh. That's a Viennese name. Doesn't have a good army. All right, put him under siege for now. Who's at war with us? They didn't join. Interesting. He has returned. We're not yet ready. We could still attack them. The rest of the positioning are pretty good. Let's run. I think we can just steal it. Offer some distraction. He might also reassign administrator after that. What do we get here? Just some nobody at court. I believe he is also administrator of Hene. Alright, we just stole that too. So we got our foothill in the north pretty easily. Um, there are going to be some problems. They're friendly. They're still friendly. They're not. And they just lost their land. 
very, very randomly to us. Alright, we'll take our time there. I should be posturing. I assume they don't need any help. So we're going to set up attack over here. I think we can start our war with Wu as well. Mm. We can get some more money and then summon an army in the north. There's really no reason to kill him. Actually, does he flip? Not yet. Ooh, everyone's happy here. Because if we flip the administrator of Tyven, we could just steal Tyven from her, which would be rather funny. Alright, let's beat up the Emperor of Yen. He has a decent amount of cavalry. Five units. I don't think we'll be dueling anyone, unless we want to die. Both Gong Sun Zai and Zhao Yun seems much stronger than what we could potentially be. They're not really advancing towards us. At least not yet. We're gonna take that shot off. They're invisible. See if we can sneak them somewhere. Oh, they're moving. Oh, never mind. We're not sneaking anywhere. Pull back. They're like ants coming down the hill here. Alright, 
Alright, we can jump the side. The cavalry might jump us back. Might be a problem. Our cavalry pulling to frontal charge this. Alright, our cavalry is going to be fine pushing through this. Let's get rid of the formation. We'll have them engage the spear units. And the cavalry can turn around. Ooh. They took out Dongbai. Not surprised. Yeah, we'll make sure we cover all the spear units. Chase that down. Send him over. Then we'll flank back. Alright, army loss, I think, is finally kicking in. Messy fight, of course, but uh, came out alright at the end. These hidden strike units actually did quite well. They snuck behind and got some easy targets. I mean, the army as a whole is very unbalanced. I want to make sure we don't have any satisfaction issues. Okay, we did just take in some more characters. 45. Yeah, we can get mounts. Um, we have other places to spend our cash. Twenty nine points. Only thing that we might consider here is he agrees to confederation, which he does not. We can vassalize him as well. I don't see a reason to do that, though. Can we reach that? Uh, we will take the military supplies.
We'll take Hangul Gate and then we'll join the rest over here and we'll see if anyone's pop over. We're gonna declare. Three turns, that's fine. Did he drag anyone into this war? Nope. Not yet, at least. Tribi would be a rather easy landing here. If they step out to challenge us, then we'll come from behind. If not, we'll be able to move next turn. They're gonna cross and take Poyang, or as much of it as we can. We were very well prepared. I'm gonna release everyone. We want to potentially go for a abdication or sort of confederation type end with them. That would get us the counties we need. Another army might be nice, but we have to make do. There's not a lot of really strong holdings, level 1, level 3, level 1. So I don't think we need to work too hard towards building up more forces. It should be wrapped up pretty easily. Do we declare against them as well? I feel like we can go wild here. I mean, his emperor already declared on us. It would be just a matter of time. We have the initiative right now. So we just take control. Yuan Tan charging into the Qing province. Quite historical there. Now, do we have to take care of the rebels first? I guess we do. They're sieging. A little appetizer. Yeah, the heroes who broke the siege and saved the town ends up taking the town. We could grab her. She's in the army. It would cost us a bit of money, which I'm not so sure we want to spend. Guan Yu can go up this line after they replenish for about two more turns. They'll go down the coast. We won't declare on Korn just yet. There is still hope that our military strength could balance him out. We'll see how that goes. Now this army is freed up to do stuff. Um, they will land. We can do some funny stuff. Ambush chance 70. I'll take it. See if they land. I also think we might as well get this over with. This is not going to be an easy fight, though. Alrighty, so we're back here because the game crashed a couple times trying to do this siege. Um, so the siege is itself pretty hard because we don't have flaming shot. It's not very accurate, so it's a mess. I'm going to instead just continue the siege and just set up maybe a sapping, actually, and see if they come out and fight us during the end turn. That would be a cleaner fight for us on the open field. And that might be the last war we declare on this turn because we have advanced quite far in quite a few places. I would like to summon an army in the north. 
it would help tremendously while they're selling food. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's... We can keep that, actually. This I want to downgrade. Let's unleash Lu Bu. We don't really have a lot of cash. So I don't know what type of units we can afford to add here. We might have to go cheap. Why is the location so weird? There we go. Lubu can also get Xian Zhen Ying. Okay, so I think we get... We get two to spice things up. But then the rest, I'm gonna go with Qiang units. Get some cavalry in here. If we go cheap, we can get a full stack. There we go. All right, sending Lu Bu to fight the Black Mountain Bandits, also quite historical. I think that might be it. I think we have pretty much got ourselves into wars with everyone. Our, our dear stepbrother might actually join the war against us, but that's a different problem. We'll see if they respond. I don't feel like Sun Tzu have much. All his settlements are very low level. I don't expect very much coming from him. Let's see how this goes. Zhengjiang comes down to fight Lu Bu, okay. Yeah, this is the fight we probably want outside. We're not going to depend on it too much. Um, do a mix of fire. They're going to group up first. We're going to go see if we can find some generals to kill. We should have a bow and a hell of arrows, so should be fun. No one's dueling because two strategists plus a commander, they can't duel. Let's kill. It's moving. Okay, not anymore. Not dropping his health fast enough. Yeah, that didn't work out. Hail of arrow time then. Oh, it's it's change, right? It's AOE like that instead of uh It's actually better for the aiming in my opinion.
Yeah, it's a decent shot. This turn around the town should be a good position to shoot the trebuchet as well as the hail of arrows, because they have to kind of clump up here. Alright, we can take this fight. Their cavalry is wiped. We should still have some grenades. Yep, let's throw it over here. out before the spear gets to us, harass the generals, find some easy targets. That's not an easy target. Get out of there. Rear charge before the spear gets to us. Ooh, 
Ooh, bump into the wrong people. Alright, kill the general. Peel them off. Alright, army loss? Looks like it. A couple generals enraged, so he's not gonna quit. It's okay, it's gonna give us a little bit more time to kill as many as these as we can. Now we should be able to delegate a win pretty easily here. I don't think we're ending their faction though. They should have another army in the north, I think. No land though. Alright, Time All joins, he dies, he's just a small faction. Goes to Gongsun Zan. Okay. Actually, do we have a new appointment? He doesn't want to flip. What about him, right? Nope. Then leave. If they're not willing to flip, then we're going to make them leave. And see who we can make flip afterwards. Ah, we got the good ones. Okay, they might not have the land that we can steal, but we got the air. We got probably their best general, aside from their faction leader. And once they leave, they might get appointed and we might be able to steal some more land from them. All right, so those went well. We'll be declaring against them soon. We have both sides ready. Lu Bu's army is going to get challenged, but we already flipped both of them. And we can do a couple of things with their poisoning, like what we did before. They didn't cross. They're going back to Hanei because we stole it. Mm, crossing is a little bit difficult. We can defend this. Alright, Shenpei's group is there. We'll set up two ambushes, and then we'll push out this, and then we'll sail up afterwards. Not a lot of movement. 
正在渡水，进攻！灭了他们 ！All right, we'll wipe out Taimal's faction. He might still be on the field. 孤身通谋略，无人能及。Not release both. I want them to keep me. One group of unknown soldiers. One for the king, one for the king. Please issue orders. Unite in battle. All right. So we have the capital in our sights. We have more of their lands in our sights. They're pushing well. We can finish this fight. We'll end things here. Alright, now Ma Chao's army can go north as well. They'll take care of the last gate pass and also go north afterwards. We have a attractive target for the AI to go after. They have siege weapons, they can take it in one turn, but we have army coming from behind, army coming from over here. Uh, we could just gun for the capital at this point if we wanted to. I think we have 76. Okay, getting closer to the mount, we'll have to sweep through all of this, and most of this will be ours as well. I don't know where Swinsla's army is. He was over here, but now he's nowhere to be found. He's not in the water, we have sight of that from trade. So he might be just going through his land. It's not going to come in time to save that. I don't think he's going to abdicate either. It's getting closer. If we beat him down a little bit more, maybe he will. Yeah, I don't think we'll get any easy grabs. That'd be fine. We still have to worry about our stepbrother. He might betray us, but uh, that's a minor problem. We can always summon an army to take care of him. And we'll continue to cover up the north and target the Kingdom of Yen because by next episode, Kingdom of Wu is definitely going to be no more. And we'll go from there. So until then, bye.